pleased to be joined by Ohio State head coach Ryan Day. And coach, let's talk first about this being new to you. And I feel like this has been a theme that we've kind of hammered home with you all year. And you have certainly risen to each and every one of those challenges. But who have you leaned on for advice as you go through bowl preparation and playoff preparation for the first time as a head coach? Well, this has this actually been very unique. It was almost like a bye week. Uh, it was less like a, a bowl preparation because we had the first week on the road recruiting and then we had one week at home to get prepared. We let them get away for, for three days and then we we're here. So the game's been on us fast. Um, and so just had a lot of conversation with, with, with Mick and uh, had a conversation with Urban about you know what he thought and asked a lot of people in the industry what, they, what their uh, position was on it and what they would do. And, and then we just kind of talked it through and put the schedule together and, and I think after those three games that we played, you know, those were physical, tough games, able to get away and get some rest. We had a really good week of practice, so I think we're going to have a fresh team on Saturday. It's interesting. We were talking to Urban, and he was mentioning that compressed time frame, that it was unlike any that he had ever seen. What were the biggest challenges that that presented? Well, just, just having a good idea of when to get rest, how physical to be, you know, when to wear pads, when not to wear pads. Um, and then also being able to get home with their families. I think that's important mentally more than anything is, you know, we, we practiced uh, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, let them go home Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and they came here on Sunday. And I think sometimes when you get away mentally, that can refresh you more than anything. So coach, big picture, this is gonna continue to happen. I mean, I mean what's the advice of someone like yourself no. to not put the players in this type of situation? I yeah. mean, how do you avoid it? I don't know. I think it was more the way the calendar hit, but I think that we got to have conversation about this moving forward. This was, this was a tough stretch, you know, for the players. Uh, it was tough for the coaches, for sure, in preparation. Um, but I think it had to do a little bit about the way that the calendar hit this year. Um, but, you know, looking forward to having conversation in the spring about this. Coach, having followed you all year, had li listened to you talk with your team before and after practice, it's evident you have a great pulse of what this team is and where they are. Where are they right now heading into this game? I don't know. I, I, I got a good feeling right now, you know, just about our team. And I mm -hmm. think they're going to play really, really hard. I think we've done a good job preparing. We're not there yet. We've still got ways to go, you know, just in terms of preparation. But it's about physically being ready, yeah. which I think we've had a really hard week of practice, done a good job mentally, you know, being on top of what we're doing. Because we're playing against a team that's really good physically, mm -hmm. really good schematically, really well coached, very talented. So we've got to be on top of that. But then emotionally, being mm -hmm. able to handle the stage, which, you know, I think our guys have played in big moments, so they're going to be ready for that. I think early on the game's going to be moving fast and furious, and, and we're going to have to be ready for that. But, but I think we're in a good place right now. We've had a good week of practice and we're ready to go. For the Big Ten fans, who do they compare to scheme-wise and talent-wise in the Big Ten? You know, I think they're, they're a combination of probably Penn State and, and the school up north. Um, just they have really good skill players, a really good scheme. Uh, they're strong up front. You know, on offense, you know, they really have you know, big-time players. Obviously, Lawrence is, is unbelievable. Etienne is really, you know, one of the better backs in the entire country. Their wideouts are really talented. So I think if you combine probably the two of those guys, it's probably as close as you can compare to. When you look at their from a defensive standpoint, they have a lot of schemes, and they put Simmons in a lot of different situations. How difficult is that, or how important is it for the offensive line quarterback and the tailback to understand where he is, particularly in the count when you're turning the line left or right? Yeah, no, they do a great job, and Brenda's a great job of mixing up the looks. I mean, they're coming over the walls almost every other play, and uh, he's got a great feel for what you're trying to do on offense. Uh, but at the end of the day, we have to just trust you know, our rules, trust our fundamentals, take care of the football, play physical, and, you know, he's going to get us on some things. I know that's going to happen. And then as long as we get our, our share of those things and stay confident, try to stay out of a negative place. You know, he tries to get you in a negative play situation. He's got really good players, really good scheme. That's why they've been good, you know, so good for so long. Jeff Halfley has taken the BC job. How did you adjust him splitting his time, if you would? You know, I think Jeff's done a great job of focusing. He knows how important this is. Uh, he takes this very, very seriously. You know, he came here to do a job, and that was to win a national championship. Uh, he takes that really, really personal. And I know that, you know, he loves those guys on defense, and they love him. And I thought he's done a great job of staying focused because this is really important for him. Uh, you know, because like you said, how many times am I going to have an opportunity to play in a game like this? Right. And uh, I think he's as excited as he's ever been to play in a game. <laughs> to what extent do you discuss the history between these schools and the fact that Ohio State has not had any success against Clemson in terms of motivating your guys? I mean, I don't think you need any more motivation playing in a game like this, but uh, we mentioned it as a reference point, but we don't talk about it a lot. I mean, that has nothing to do with this game. That has nothing to do with our team. That has nothing to do with their team in this moment right here. Uh, but uh, we, do we do bring it up, you know, as a reference point. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we, we, we want to go, you know, play for the whole thing. And the thing that's really cool is I think our team and the chemistry has gotten stronger as the season's gone on. 
And I said to the team the other day, I'm not ready for this to be over. I don't want this, this season to be over. I don't want these, you know, the coaching staff, the players, this to end. We want to keep this thing going past Saturday. And that's part of the reason why we're going to be playing so hard. Well, we're not ready for a 10. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we're enjoying it. It's been a lot of fun to follow this team all year. As always, really appreciate your cooperation, Ryan, and best of luck, of course, on Saturday. Thanks, guys. Let's go.